What we are going to do in the first dish, which is pineapple glazed chicken, I'm going to use the drumsticks and the thighs. And then I'm going to save the chicken breasts for a delicious chicken salad to have another night. Now here's something to do. If you have never um, taken the skin off chicken before, you don't need to buy chicken with the skin off. It's really easy to remove it yourself. Just grab a paper towel and then grab on to the chicken. I know chicken can be slippery, but if you take a paper towel in your hand and then grab on to the skin, that'll make it really easy to just pull it off. You can see how easily that comes off. And I'm just going to grab onto the leg here and then pull it off. There you go. Then I'm going to put the chicken back on the tray. And it's very important when you're working with poultry to wash your hands. I have a damp cloth here, and I'm going to wash my hands. Now I'm going to season the chicken. And I'm, I'm going to saute this first. And the reason I'm going to saute it is that since I've removed the chicken, if I just popped it into the oven, it wouldn't get a really nice brown color. So I'm going to take the chicken and saute it in a little bit of olive oil. I have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil here. If you're working with oil and you're concerned that it might splatter, what you can do is lift your pan up a little bit like that, tip the oil away from you, then put the chicken in the pan, and then lower it down. And that will make it, it won't splash at all. And now what I'm going to do is this chicken is going to cook about five or seven minutes, I'm going to turn it so that it gets a really nice color. And you can see this is the color that it's going to get when it comes out of the skillet. I'm putting it on a rimmed baking sheet that it's going to go into a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And that, then the chicken will be done. Now we never like to waste anything and we don't like to dirty too many things. So here's the skillet that the chicken was cooked in. I took a paper towel and I wiped out the fat that was left in the skillet. But I want to leave these brown bits in here because they are going to give the sauce some great flavor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pineapple. This is pineapple juice. I have two cups of pineapple juice here. You can use fresh, you can use canned. And I'm going to deglaze the pan. I'm going to pour this in here right in that pan. Along with, I have a tablespoon of grated ginger and a tablespoon of pickled jalapeno. You can find pickled jalapeno in supermarkets, in jars, and the reason why I use pickled jalapeno instead of fresh jalapeno is that it is predictably hot. I know that it's always going to be spicy. Whereas sometimes you get a fresh jalapeno pepper and it tastes more like a green bell pepper than anything else. So I'm stirring that all in. If your family doesn't like spicy things, leave the jalapeno out. It will still have delicious flavor. So I'm going to let that cook. I've scraped it up. This is a heat proof spatula, so I don't have to worry about it burning in here. And then when the chicken is done and it comes out of the oven, it is a beautiful brown color. I'm going to check and make sure that the temperature is right. It should be 165 degrees on an instant read thermometer. When you're using an instant read thermometer, and this is not the kind of thermometer that goes in the oven. You'd never put it in the oven. Uh, take that instant read thermometer, put it in the thickest part of a thigh, avoiding any bone, and it should read 165 degrees. It's a beautiful brown color. I'm going to take this beautiful, this is now reduced, the pineapple juice that was two cups is now reduced to three quarters of a cup. And I'm going to take that and scrape that into the bowl. You'll see that it's going to coat the chicken really nicely. I want to get every little bit in there. Okay, that looks really yummy. And then I'm going to take some scallions. I have sliced scallions here. I'm just going to take some of them put them in there, and then toss the chicken. I want it to be nice and coated. This is sort of reminiscent of, if you've had sweet and sour chicken, it re will remind you a little bit of that. But it's a really nice dish, and really easy to make, perfect for during the week. Now I'm gonna take it, I have some rice on the platter here. 
I'm going to take this and put the chicken on the platter with the rice. I've used white rice. If you want to use brown rice, that's okay too. It's really what you like. There's going to be enough sauce so that you'll get a little bit to go on the rice as well. And um, if you wanted to serve a vegetable with this, and I'm a big fan of vegetables and green vegetables, I think this would be really nice with some sugar snap peas or some steamed green beans or snow peas. Really, again, whatever you and your family like. So there we have that, with that nice sauce on top of it. And then I'm going to take some more scallions and then just garnish it.